When working as a pediatric occupational therapist, I often get asked by parents what toys they should buy. So in this video, I'm going to cover the toys that you should be getting for your baby when they're 9 to 12 months of age because it'll work on their gross motor, fine motor and communication skills. And I'll also tell you which toys to definitely avoid. This is the first time you're here. Hi, my name's Emma. This channel's all about helping you become a confident parent by giving you the tips and tricks that I've learned practicing as a pediatric occupational therapist and also being a mum to two children. So if you want to make parenting significantly easier, make sure you start now by subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell so you won't miss a thing. And remember there's that free PDF document in the description box below which covers your baby's developmental milestones that you be can be expecting in the first year of life. So what toys are great at this age? One of the great toys that I recommend is a shape sorter. So again, you might start with the lid off. I wouldn't be expecting them to be able to put a shape into the shape sorter until 12 months and that's generally the circle that we aim for first. So they're putting that posting, so they're dropping the toys into the shape sorter. The other thing that's really good at this age uh, ring stackers and at this age what you're expecting is that they're pulling off the rings really easily and by 12 months I'll start to put the rings on in any order which is amazing at this age you also want to start thinking about getting some pop-up toys so this is a pop-up toy what's great about this is it um, helps with your baby's development of their pointer um, so they'll be able to and their pincer grip because they'll need to grab that and slide it down down, but they'll point. What's really good is that you might as a um, parent go along and open all these up but what your baby will do initially is start to pull the um, lids down with using their pointer. So they might use their whole hand but then you model to them with their pointer and they'll start doing that as well. At this age another great toy are um, toys on a string so we're wanting to work on that grip so this string enables them to do it. The other thing is it's a really good one so when your baby is walking around or crawling they'll start to pull the the toy on the string so it's quite motivating for them but we're wanting it helps with that development so you can get lots of different string um, toys on a string I would just make sure the strings relatively long because if it's too short it's really hard to pull the um, toy along at this age board books are also a great investment and that's because we're wanting to work on that pointer so the touch and feel books are really great so these ones are quite particularly good so you can point with that finger and then they'll also work on their pincer grip by turning the pages but it's a great way for you to communicate with your baby as well because you can read the um, words in the book or you can point out items in the um, pages and then they'll also start pointing out and maybe mimicking those noises. Another great toy at this age are the puzzles with the um, kind of knobs on them and that's because it works on that pincer grip so they can pull the puzzle piece out. Again you're not expecting them to put the puzzle back in you're just wanting them to pull it out. There's some puzzles that are really great at the moment that are out there that actually play music when they remove the puzzle piece so I just got one from Aldi but it was quite um, enjoyable for the um, my baby and he continues to use it now and he's two. I also really like blocks at this age so smaller blocks like this are fantastic. You can often get them in the shape sorters um, but at this but 12 months of age you're wanting your baby to be able to put one block on top of the other. Before then they're going to be dropping into containers and they'll be banging it together they're really really quite fun other toys that you might want to think about are the stacking toys um, at this age I would just be expecting your baby to kind of knock them over and have lots of fun that way they might be able to put one block on top of the other but that's it um, but these will be great in future when they're getting a bit older and their skills are more developed. So another great toy you'll be looking at at this age are trolleys and there's two different trolleys out there. There's the one where it's kind of a wooden trolley where you can put blocks and stuff in the front of it. I really like those. That's actually my preferred trolley when using it with a baby and that's simply because you can put a weight in the front of it so it doesn't kind of roll away on them when they're learning to um, push the trolley. The other trolleys which is the kind of plastic ones that often come with like these musical components on the front. They're really handy for this musical component because it does work on giving your child that fine motor exposure so it works on that pointing. You can open doors, you can um, put your finger in one of the holes and move it around or you can spin the dial. It is really engaging for your babies. The only thing is I find the plastic um, trolleys 
really like slippery so they're quite lightweight and they're more likely to kind of slide out from your bub when they're walking with it so the wooden trolleys that have the tray out the front which I generally put kind of a rice bag in to weigh it down is more successful for my bubs because we've got floorboards but if you've got carpet then those plastic ones are great so what toys should you avoid at this age I would recommend avoiding the baby PlayStation I know you place your baby in there to have some time where you they're contained and you know they're safe but it actually places them at risk of sustaining injuries when they're in the equipment and the other thing is it encourages that pointing of the toes if they're not able to kind of have their feet flat on the ground when they're standing in the playstations which isn't really great for their calf development or any kind of the muscle development particularly their core because it's not working on their core strength the other toy that I would avoid at this age is the um, baby walkers. So they're being linked with increased risk of sustaining injuries if they're accidentally left or they fall down a flight of stairs or the, they get access to things that they normally wouldn't have and also developmental delays because if they're placed in that, they're not working on those skills that are required for walking or standing. So those are the toys that I would avoid at this age. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel to make parenting significantly easier for yourself and hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. And if you've liked this video, make sure you hit that like button. And I'll see you next week where I'll share more parenting tips and tricks to make your life easier and give your baby the best start to life.